when you walk out from Walmart or Target with several plastic bags in your shopping cart. You may feel that, well, it's just a few plastic bags. It won't affect anything at all. However, if each of seven billion people on Earth use only one plastic bag per day, that's over two trillion usage per year. The excessive usage of plastic bag is wrecking the world by causing serious environmental problems, but it seems like it is not noticed by people. You will be shocked after hearing the following data recently disclosed from statisticbrain.com. The number of plastic bags used worldwide annually is one trillion. Forty-six thousand pieces of plastic bags end up. Floating in every square miles of ocean, the U.S. citizen alone uses up to 100 billion plastic bags every year. 3.5 million tons of plastic bag were finally discarded in 2008. You will know what these numbers means to our environment and to us human beings. Now we are going to talk about the negative effect of using plastic bags. Killing animals. About 100,000 animals, such as dolphins, turtles, penguins, are killed every year due to these plastic bags. Many animals ingest plastic bags, mistaking them for food, and therefore die. And worse, the ingested bag remains intact. Even after the death and decomposition of the animal, thus, it lies around in the landscape where another victim may ingest it. Non-biodegradable. A single plastic bag can take 1,000 years to decompose in a landfill, and as it decomposes, it releases toxic chemicals, and these chemicals. Eventually, make their way into soil and groundwater. Litter the landscape. Once they are used, most plastic bag goes into landfill or rubbish tips. Each year, more and more bags are ending up littering the environment. Once they become litter, plastic bags find their way into our waste water, parks, and streets. And if they are burned, they infuse the air with toxic fumes. Flooding. Plastic bags has been known cause flooding by clogging drainage pipes and sewer grates. In India, where plastic bags have littered the landscape, flooding has caused death and destroy properties. Mosquito breeding. The discarded plastic bag collect rainwaters. They create place for mosquitoes to breed and spread malaria. Now, not only do mosquitoes carry malaria, but they also carry West Nile virus in United States, Japan, in Asia, and yellow fever in Southern America and、uh, Africa. Non-renewable resources. In 2008, China officially banned plastic bags, saving an estimated 37 million barrels of crude oil every year. Since plastic bags are made of crude oil or natural gas, they put a drain on natural resources. There are two main ways to reduce pollution levels. Caused by excessive use of plastic bags, they are to reduce and reuse. We came up with five solutions for each of them that all of us will be able to relate it easily. You can reduce the use of plastic by one carrying your own purchases. This is because both the cashier and buyer have the habits. To giving and receiving plastic bags when we actually don't need them at all. Second, using reusable containers for lunch 
instead of Ziploc bags. Third, bring in plastic bags along if you know that you are going to buy something. This prevents the redundancy of using more plastic bags. Fourth, put in as many items as you can into one plastic bag. Tell cashiers to put as many things as they can into a bag because they have a habit of putting only a few items into each bag. Fifth, introduce tax on plastic bags. As an example, during the first five months of introduction by the Irish government, insurance insurance of new plastic bags has been reduced by more than 90%, <coughs> raised 3.5 million euro, euros, which would in turn be used for environmental purposes. This move was extremely effective because it discouraged consumers to pay for plastic bags. You can reuse plastic bags by one, bringing plastic bags with you for your next grocery trip. Most of these plastic bags were used once and only for a brief period of time. As a result, these plastic bags can be easily reused for your next trip to the grocery shop. Second, keeping plastic bags and paper bags in the trunk of your car. This way, you always have bags when you need them and avoid using more plastic bags. Third, reusing them as trash bags. Fourth, accumulating plastic bags and donating to organizations such as libraries, pantries, or daycare centers that take them. Five, storing your personal belongings. It doesn't cost you a single cent, and it keeps dust and dirt away from your belongings when you store them in the storeroom or basement. Our planet is sick, and she needs our help. So please, help us spread this message to the people around you. Together, we have the power to reverse the negative effects and improve on the living conditions for us and all other living things by simply reduce the use of plastic bags. Let us make a better tomorrow today. Thank you.